Hey everyone, Dennis from the Motorcycle Springfield. This is the third video we've done on this case that we just opened up and this came out of an auction in uh, Rutland, Vermont. This is the Flynn dealership, Indian dealership, William Flynn. So uh, we're kind of going through the stuff right now. This is a, a duplicate receipt book, a Protecto. And just kind of looking at some of the receipts, this guy kept a lot of really good records. Um, this is for a jacket or no parts. I mean, uh, buddy seat here. Guy bought a buddy seat. Harley Davidson buddy seat. Uh, $25. Amount paid 10 bucks. Owed him 15 bucks. I mean, the guy's name was Ed Flynn. Excuse me. It was, I said William. It was Ed. I'm going to probably get to know Ed pretty well now. Once you read somebody's uh, paperwork and it, it tells a story about, you know, what kind of person they were. In full, this guy here paid $62 in full for overhaul battery and liner i think i have to get to know his writing too as we go on we got more and more of these more money receipts we have to put all these in some kind of semblance of order so we can figure out exactly i mean this is so so cool personally i think this is probably the find of that auction for a historian like me that's into um Old motorcycles and all that. Received from Edward B. Flynn, $5 payment in full for service in Adams, Mass. A bunch of people signed it. I wonder what that's about. First, something. I wonder what that was about. Hmm. All 1937 date. Well, we have to figure that out. Eventually, we might be able to picture that all, put it all together. More of those uh, receipts. Now we got these uh, service invoices. This guy in North Pennington, a 1946 Indian. Looks like he pretty much had a, be a rebuild. Grind the valves, new rings, sandblast the heads, cleaning paint cylinders, clean points, clean carb, wash out oil tank, fix the air meter, install springs on clutch. Labor eight hours at $2.50 an hour for a whopping $20. Installed new chain and sprockets, two and a half hours labor, $6.25. So this guy had his engine pretty well rebuilt for a total of uh, $26.25 in labor, $42.99 in parts, for a grand total of $69.24. And he paid it in full. Now this is done in 1960. Yep. Each one of these invoices tell a story. Indian 74, 47, 1952, that work was done. Oh my God, I'm in heaven here. How many times I've said that here with these videos running. These are all work orders. I'm gonna have a ball going through those and I will certainly be sharing with them with you guys as time goes on. I hated somebody actually took sticky notes and put it on at the auction. They should know better than that. Oh, these are registrations? Oh, they're tire certificates. So they're like warranty. OPA war price and rationing board. So this is World War II stuff, folks. Um, that's probably what these forms are. I'll learn a little bit more, but I think... Back then, you had to, um, you know, monitor the rubber usage in our country. So, anyhow, so we're going to conclude this uh, third video of this series, and uh, we'll get together on a uh, fourth video on this box. Dennis from Indian Motorcycle Springfield, Indian Motorcycle History lives here.